Dutch lager, genuine imported lager, is super strength, 8.5% volume. In the can, we have 440 mils, it's 3.7 UK units, and it's actually produced by the Spa brand for spa shops. It's, uh, it's called super strength, but in this country, you know, we have things called like Castrol and uh, the likes of Tannin Super, these are above 9%, but this is a can beer, as you can see, and uh, it's not very much like Castrol, I was wondering if it tastes the same. Quite a nice taste for a lager with um, a high volume. Usually they don't contain as much taste as lagers with a lesser, a lesser alcohol level, as such as your Carlin's. They're, they're nice to taste in beers, but this, this makes a good taste, and the Sparrow have done well here. I have to give this three stars. Um, not at the standard of, you know, the likes of the uh, Hoe Garden or the uh, Bohemian Black, but this is a very good beer. Justin Fisher, premium lager beer. Twelve percent to leave in my skull. Sixty milliliters a gram. Also, as you can see, four point eight percent. Bit stronger than Carlin. Um, it doesn't say this is the world's number one selling Indian lager. So this is not Indian lager. It's produced in Faversham. Which is in Kent, actually, so it's produced in England. They can call it an Indian meal, it's produced in England. Very strange. 2.1 per unit, 660 milliliters, kingfish and cream. Just like this. Uh, very hot to smell. Probably going to be a spring spring wash because I went out on the weekend and this film um, will be the first that you don't see in wildlife. And I mean, Surprisingly refreshing, great time to it, an aroma of like sort of cabbage and vegetation sort of taste to it, very, very gassy. Sort of bands to taste a little more. This is a beer more for taste than you know, getting drunk, serious drinkers. A uh, good beer, but sadly, I'm only going to have to give this three stars because of the strength and the amount of gas in it is more like an alcohol pop than a lager. But then again, still, still a good beer and enjoy.